Hello everyone, today we will be solving a very interesting problem on to the SQL interview questions. So this was one of the interview questions which was asked into one of the top product based company. Let us quickly move what is the question saying and let us start solving the problems. So you can see here we have a table named as activity and in this table player ID and event date there are two columns and these are the primary key of this particular table and this table shows the activity of players of some game and each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games and they can play zero games also before logging out on some day using some device so coming back to the table i'll just walk you through what is the table all about and what does this data point mean so you can see the column a we have the player id the column b we have the device id the third column has the event date and the column the last column is the number of games played by the player simply means that player id 1 is has used device id s2 on to this particular date and the number of games which have been played by this particular player on to this particular device on to this particular date is 5 it just simply means this particular data nothing else and into this particular table we have three very interesting problem to solve these three problems are some kind of problem which are generally asked into the SQL interview so if you are able to solve this I guess you are ready for interviews most of the interviews so let us start solving the problem sequentially so we'll just start with the very first problem I hope the table is clear what the data points are all about so the very first problem is write a SQL query that reports the device that is first login for each player so there are different players you can see player id 1 2 and 3 so we want to know which is the device which have been used the very first time by the each player so there are numerous ways to solve this particular problem so we'll be solving through many ways let us start solving this problem through the window functions so i'll just rank do a ranking here onto the basis of the partition will be here our player id so i'll just write here partition by player id column because for each player i want to provide the rank and we'll be providing the rank onto the basis of the event date column now why event date because we want to know which is the device the very first device used by each of the player so i want to order it by the event date and this should be into the ascending order so let us rename this particular column as some rank from activity table so i'll just run this particular query let us see what is the output it is saying so you can see we have got the ranks for each of the row here now from this particular the result which we have got we just want to filter out all the rank one because this gives the data of the very first device which have been used by the player so i'll just write here select star from this table i'll just rename this up where rank is equal to one i'll just run this particular query so you can see Player ID as one has used device ID as two was the very first device. Player ID as two is the device which was used by the player ID as two is device ID as three. Similarly, player ID as three, the device which have been used is device ID as one. We just want to get these two columns, so I'll just write here player ID comma device ID because there are a lot of information which we don't require let us execute this particular thing and you can see we have got the relevant answer now what are the other ways through which we can solve this particular problem one of the more uh, ways through which we can solve this particular problem is using the group by function so i want to get the minimum of the date from this particular table i'll just execute select star from activity so let us get the player id here first of all and let us get the min of the event date from this particular table and we'll group by onto the basis of the player id let us execute this particular code you can see we have got the minimum date on which 
the player have started playing now we will do one thing we will use this as a sub query we will get our main table which is select uh start from activity and we'll perform a inner join onto both of these results so that we get the relevant data points so i'll just do a select player i'll just write your pit player swing them this as b and i'll just start a dot player id comma a dot device id comma a dot event date comma a dot games late from activity a will do a inner join onto this particular sub query b on so on which which columns do i want to inner join so i want to inner join onto two columns definitely one column is the player id so i'll just use this player id column b dot player id and onto one more column which is the event date column so it will be a dot event date you will do b dot and then let us execute this particular query so you can see we have got the relevant information i'll just remove these two rows as these two columns as these are not required i'll just execute the query once again so you can see we can get the same result using different methods i've just shown you two different methods to solve this particular question let us move to the second number problem and this is also quite interesting it involves a lot of different concepts write in sql query that reports for each player and date many games played so far by the player that is the total number of games played by the player until that particular date so we want to know on to until this particular date the number of games played by the player and it is basically a rolling something if if you remember i made a video on to the rolling sum this is the similar problem we just want to know how many games have been played by a player until that particular date this can also be solved using numerous ways but i'll just solve using the very simplest way which is the window function so i'll just write here select star comma sum over what is the column name so the column name is the games played over partition by the partition by each player and order by the same even date and this is number of games late I'm just rename this column from activity so let us execute the query let's see what is the result so you can see we have got a column in which we know how many games have been played by that particular player until that particular date so we have this particular information this was a quite simple problem using just a window function let us move to the third problem and the last problem the third problem says write and sql query that reports the fraction of players that logged in again on the day after the day they first logged in rounded to two decimal places in other words you need to count the number of players that logged in for at least two consecutive days starting from their first logging date then divide that number by the total number of players so basically we want to have two values the very first value would be the number of players so that is pretty much clear we'll just count the total number of distinct players which we have the second and the main information which you want is number of players who have played consecutively from the day they have started playing so consecutively for two days they have played at least one game so we want to know how many players such kind of players do we have who are playing consecutively so to solve this particular problem i'll be using one of the window function here which is the lead or the lag function so 
I'll just do a select star comma and we will use the lead function. So we'll just get a, another column which has the date on which the next game was played by each of the players. So I'll just write the query and then I'll be able to explain what I'm trying to say here. So I'll just write here as lead of even date because I just want to get the next date over partition by player id and uh, this should be ordered by event date itself and this is the next day from activity let us execute this particular thing so you can see here uh, we have generated a new column which is the next day here we have the next day on which a game was played by the player so you can see i'm getting the next day so this is exactly the same date because for player id is true there is just a single entry we have got a null value and for player id is three we have similarly got uh, another you know the next day on which the player has played the game so we have got this particular value now from this we want to get the difference between both of these dates which is the next day column and the even day column and we want to know how many uh, days difference are between these two particular dates and the dates difference should be equal to one and that is how we know that the number of games have been played it was in a consecutive days and that is the information which we want because we want to count the number of distinct players who have been playing games consecutively on each day so we want to get this particular information now let us do one thing we will try to get the difference between these two particular days so i'll just write here select star from this and here i'll mention date diff i want to get the difference in terms of days and the difference would be between this column and the next day column i just remember this as diff let's execute this so you can see i'm getting the difference in both of these dates in terms of days and this particular difference i'll just again put a sub query here and this particular date difference should be equal to one that i'll just mention here so i'll just write a select star from this where diff is equal to one because i want to get the information of the players who are playing consecutively let us execute this particular query i'll just execute this so you can see i'm getting zero results and that makes a sense because none of the rows has had or uh, entry as one but here i'll do i'll try to get a zero so i'll just do a count of uh, distinct because ideally the query should look like this only we want to we would want to count the number of distinct players who have been playing consecutive day games so i'll just count distinct of player id here and let us execute this particular thing so you can see i'm getting a zero and in this i would want to get into the second column i want to get select count of distinct player id from activity i'll rename this as count one and this is two let us execute this particular query you can see i'm getting count one which is the number of players who are playing consecutively and into the second column i'm getting the count two that is the number of distinct players while in the question you'll see we wanted to get this particular fraction of players that logged in again on the day after so let us do one thing let us just divide both of these results here so i'll just put a division sign 
and let's execute this particular query so this will be the final answer and you can see we are getting zero so there are zero players who are playing consecutively so friends this is how we have solved these three interesting problems i hope you found this video quite informational and useful do hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye